was first invited to attend the Walker Percy Weekend, I had no perception of what it would be like. I couldn't imagine that I would be meeting people from around the country, from Canada, from England, from, who all wanted to talk about my favorite books. But there it was. And it was there and it was wrapped in this beautiful package of Southern hospitality. The St. Francisville-based Julius Freyhan Foundation has worked for decades to save and restore Feliciana's first public school building. The growing threat to this building led the foundation in 2014 to create a new fundraiser. We had to get busy and find a good fundraiser that fit our community and fit the project that we were trying to establish. The idea came in my dining room just off Royal Street in St. Francisville. There's a knock at the door and it's Miss Nancy. And I welcomed her in and I hadn't seen her in a while and she sat down and got right to the point. She said, darling, we need a new festival in town. I thought about it and I said, well, you know, there's a Walker Percy connection to St. Francisville. You know, Percy's this great Southern novelist who set some of his novels right here in St. Francisville. There are a lot of Percy's in St. Francisville. Why don't we do a Walker Percy Festival? She said, I think that's marvelous. I've been reading Percy since I was in college and really admired him. He had kind of been, uh, I think, forgotten by a lot of people in Louisiana if they knew him to begin with. He's the greatest novelist Louisiana's ever produced. His work is tremendously relevant to our time, and there's a West Feliciana connection. More people in Louisiana should know Walker Percy, and we should celebrate his legacy for our state. We talked about it, and it kind of dropped it for about a year. And then I thought about it. I said, you know what? I think I'm going to contact Rod and Julie and James and Ashley Fox Smith and see if we can't get something going. And what she asked us to do was to help her to develop a cultural event of some description that fit and had a real firm hold and place in St. Francisville and that also brought culture from the wider Louisiana community and gave it a home in the town. Having spent most of my adult life outside of Louisiana and having had many, many conversations with people in New York, Dallas, Philly, all over the place about Walker Percy, that's one thing they know and they love about Louisiana. So I knew that this stood to be a festival that could attract people from all over the country. It is appropriate to be here and it, it's the, comp the, the, the very relaxed way about it is something Daddy would have really liked. People have always wanted to come here. We wanted to give them something new to come for, something that allowed them to engage with literature, with Southern writing, and do it in a beautiful setting. St. Francisville is a place that has retained its identity closely enough that it's still real in that traditional Southern manner that is the compassionate, literate, educated, genteel way. And this embodies it. This is an amazingly cosmopolitan festival for something that happens in a town of about 1,700 people. They come in from all over. After the first year, what we learned about was that people wanted more of this stuff. We sold out the tickets in a matter of weeks in the first year. We had a crowd that we could scarcely accommodate, and they absolutely adored the experience. So this is something that once people get a taste of it, they don't want to let it go. We've got a pretty great formula with the social gatherings that we have, with the different presentations that we have coming, both academic and in current literature, but we want to continue to grow. The whole festival hinges upon being presented in beautiful historic settings. The ones that we have, we fill up and we don't have any more room. In the middle of town, we have this incredible resource sitting here vacant and empty that it could be the perfect home for what this festival can grow to be. Keep up to date on Walker Percy Weekend at walkerpercyweekend.org. And to learn more about future services and features of the Julius Freyhand Center, visit freyhandfoundation.org.